Vaginismus is a term applied when women have involuntary contraction of the muscles around the vaginal orifice, leading to difficulty in having penetrative sex or having a tampon inserted. Now, partners usually um, explain it as if they are hitting a wall while attempting penetration. Now, why does that happen? Really, we don't know the reason, but quite often it is really due to bad experiences in the past, such as sexual abuse, hearing stories that sexual intercourse is really painful, defloration of the hymen is going to be painful, childbirth was very painful, and, and these things when they implant in the, in the woman's or child brain, then they might cause difficulty in accepting intercourse in the future. So, what is the instance of vaginismus in the general population? Well, although it's estimated between 1% to 2%, I feel it's probably more because many women really do not or feel that there is no cure to it, that the problem lies within them. And, uh, and they don't go and see a doctor. So, and so usually come and say, well, my hymen to be intact, it seems that I have a non-flexible hymen and they feel that the answer is to cut the hymen uh, to allow penetrative intercourse, which is most of the time not the case and most of the time it is due to involuntary contraction of the muscles. Until recently, it was very difficult to treat vaginismus until Botox was introduced. So in the past, we used to treat vaginismus by psychotherapy, cognitive therapy, hypnotherapy, and all these were followed by the use of vaginal dilators. Now the success rate really to have penetrative intercourse after all that was no more than 10%, which isn't really very good. Now recently, the good news is Botox was, came into being, and from cosmetic surgery, we now use Botox for many uh, other uh, causes, for treatment of other conditions, and most importantly, vaginismus. By injecting Botox in a large amount, and I'm talking really about 200 units uh, compared with 50 or 60 units in the face, but 200 units injected into the perineal muscles, that's the muscles which surround the vagina, this results in relaxation of these muscles and allowed women in 90% of the cases to have normal intercourse after. We develop confidence in having intercourse by allowing the woman to insert vaginal dilator initially with the consultant at the clinic and then at home by herself for another two to three weeks and this is usually followed by satisfactory intercourse in 90% of the cases. So good news for people who have vaginismus.